<laughs> well, look, I mean, it's, it's, it's you know, clearly uh-huh. there are lots of different reasons why young women delay having a child. Yeah. Uh, and, and predominantly, I guess, it's focusing on a career mm-hmm. and also perhaps finding a partner later in life yep. and housing. Yes. Well, and more um, infertility, mm. because that has increased massively. And I was looking at statistics. I love statistics. And I would just give you an idea. In the last 60 years, there has been a dramatic increase in infertility in women. Mm. So it's huge. It's um, gone more than... The level of times by the age of 30 has been steadily rising since the low of 18% for women born in 1941. But interestingly, with men in their 20s and girls in their 20s, so it's very young, um, it's very um, obvious infertility. And the sperm count in men has more than halved. Pr- in the by the way, 40 pres- years. present company accepted. No, no, Igrid took a sample before. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, we all know. Oh, I thought she was doing a COVID test on you. No, I was. I thought it was very <laughs> unusual. But <laughs> yes. that, that <laughs> thong <laughs> thing. Test, test the nose. <laughs> test the nose. <laughs> it's like I, I, I didn't realise that it, it went yeah. up that particular, <laughs> uh, that orifice. particular orifice. <laughs> But I mean, it's it's uh, that's a concern, isn't it? it actually, Jeez. Elon Musk, who I mentioned earlier in the show, has been tweeting about his concerns around depopulation because actually the world population looks like it will sort of top out in the next few years, and then we'll we'll start to see a reduced number of people. Well, we already are. COVID's a convenient um, reduction and culling of society, Infer- uh, infertility, and then I looked into um, the reasons for this increase, and I've always been a, a bit of a warrior about what, are, what is it that we're taking? What mm. toxins are we actually taking? Yeah. They're medicines, but they've got ingredients in them that cause all sorts of side effects. And a lot of it has to do, I think, with that quite a lot. Because if anybody goes to a doctor and they will come out with a prescription, guaranteed every time. Your doctor is a drug dealer. That's yes, the truth, isn't it? exactly right. And, do you know, I've always said to my doctor, don't. Don't, don't give me a prescription for anything. I hardly have ever taken antibiotics, so I would respond very well to them. And I said when my children weren't allowed to have me interfering in their medical thing, um, please don't, to the doctor, please don't give them a prescription. I know that I've got no control over them now because at that age, but please don't. But the children don't anyway. They will not take a, pres- a prescription because there's so many ways of things being treated properly. Maybe later in life when you've got angina and various things like that. But even then, I think a lot of um, lifestyle choices can help you right the wrong that's going on in your body. Blood pressure. And I don't want to bang the, the obesity drum, but if you, oh, have yeah? a, if you have a higher body mass index, your mm. chances of conceiving drop. Absolutely. Also, but um, the converse is also true. If you're extremely thin, mm. it can also um, affect your ability. To but you've obviously had no... <laughs> you've why, had... Is, why is it cut to me? Cut to Mark. Oh. He's the thin one. <laughs> well... <He's> not... <laughs> no, do you know the reason it cut to you? Because normally they cut to me when they talk about fat people. Uh, right. And, never. And, and, and they've been put told... Us a, put they've us in a two-shot. Put us in a two-shot. No, they've been told you can't cut to me when you talk about fat people anymore. It's discrimination. It's oh, discrimination. yes, yes. But, all, but also, what do you weigh these days? I mean, if you walked over a grid, you'd fall in. I probably would. Yeah, well, I, I think I'm 77 kilos or something no, like sorry, that. No, sorry, what's it in stone? Come on, this is GB I think News. About, about 11 stone. 11 stone. In, in old I money. I can't believe right. I'm six foot seven. I went to Tonga and they thought I was ill. They said, Are you all right? Because, <laughs> well, you know, was, in Tonga, you're, right. you're supposed Well, no, exactly. <laughs> but I mean, look, the bottom line is it's a problem for our society if we don't have young families and babies being born. We've got an aging population. This yeah, is but, an economic and societal crisis. Yeah, but, yeah, but hang on a second. I, you know, when there was this debate about gay marriage, and I'm going to come on to the point, so don't worry, mm. but when there was this debate about when there was this debate about gay marriage i said i cannot understand why the government is the regulator of love in any respect you know i thought it was barry the White. reason the reason <laughs> the reason the reason that i think people are going against the traditional family and traditional marriage is because the government has made all these rules about marriage you should be able to go to a church or a synagogue or a uh, 
any other f- uh, institution that you want to mosque. and be able to a mosque and get married. <laughs> well, uh, well done. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Quaker Friends Meeting House. Absolutely. Right? I could nice think of another one. one. Good recovery. I think of another one. Um, but you should be able to go to any of these places and get married and build your family the way you wish to build your family. I think that we are so anti-family. And I'm going to say this, and it's going to be controversial amongst some people, probably not GB News viewers, but... Mm-hmm. The reality is it is a better situation to have a parent who is male, a parent who's female, and a normal family for the mass, vast majority of people. I don't want to discriminate against anybody else, but the reality is <laughs> the <laughs> nuclear the nuclear you might family. Just have done that it was a in a discrimination. Well, 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 I'm very I'm very sorry if that's happened. But the nuclear family should be the bedrock of our society, and we have failed to defend it. But the, the issue the is that not enough families, whatever the the makeup, well, are having enough babies. Yeah but, yeah, but the thing is, why would you why would you go into a government marriage which has all sorts of problems, which is going to make... I wouldn't go into poor. a government well, marriage. Well, but, 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 <laughs> what are we talking? But, but, Michael Gove? Yeah, but that, but, Pretty but, but, Patel? But hang on a second. That's what it is. You walk your girlfriend or partner down the aisle, you have to sign the government contract that's laid down in statute. That's the point I'm making. It is an absolute nightmare. And I think people are deeply put off by the family because we have made the family the enemy in this country. And we need to change it. Well, that's okay. interesting. Josh, you've got a bit of think, offspring. <laughs> yeah, I don't think... I don't agree with any of that. But first of all, I feel... Because he's feeling, a communist. Oh, yeah, exactly. I'm feeling for Ingrid's children. I just imagine them, like, falling over and hurting their knee. No, you cannot have a plaster. <laughs> you will yeah. heal by the organically. I, I am like that. OK, well... I am like I'm, that. I'm sorry for that. Come on, come uh, on, I've got a bit okay. of gout. Anyway, come on. it was tough love. It was there, tough love. It was well, tough love. Our, attendance at school was our, really our, uh, My fellow panellists here made, because we haven't talked, but I have five children in a marriage... Do you? Uh, I do indeed. Wow. I, I, and it's old enough. Thank you so much. Um, responsible enough. No, it's all different women. No, uh, <laughs> it's, all, it's, it's one woman. One very angry woman. But <laughs> one very the tired point woman. Is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, can we not watch the telly tonight? Well, it's, I don't think it's about institutions and uh, it's about money. That's what it comes down to. I think that's probably People right. delaying, having kids. Um, for our, we had our first child, we were living at my grandmother's house saving up money for a mortgage. Um, and my wife at the time, she was 35, and we just had to get on with it because but we knew I, the fertility rates but, dropped. But can I ask you a question? Because I think it's really important, right? Yeah. This issue with your ability to buy a house. So I look back to my parents, grandparents. You know, my parents obviously saved up a bit of money to, to go and get a mortgage, yeah, put the deposit down. Nowadays... People in their 20s have got no prospect. Mm. Yeah, I mean, no, well, is that we were in our 30s. No, absolutely, because it's not saving a bit of money. It's saving, you know, 100,000 yeah, uh, yeah, which is absolutely ridiculous. And that's... Well, can I say something that's really, really worrying? Because that is such a responsible approach, which is the way that we are approaching this. But what about the people that don't take that responsible approach and they start getting pregnant at 20, don't know who they're pregnant by, multiple partners, and they have... I get that, I get that. It feels like an old story. I don't know how much that's happening now. Those are the ones that are going to be looking at. Teenage pregnancies have gone through the floor, though. Yeah, but hang on a second. Teenage pregnancies have gone through. That's an old narrative. Yeah, that's that's like a relic of the 80s and the 90s. Ingrid, Yeah, but it's still happening. There's still multiple children, family children, amongst people that actually can't afford them and they rely on the state. They're going to be looking after Ingrid, can I make this point? When you talk about reliance on when you, when, when, when you talk about reliance on the state, and look, I am a right wing conservative. I genuinely believe in low tax and minimal. Is that what it says on your Tinder profile? <laughs> Get out of it. Get out is, that, of it. is that your no, opening it's, line? No, it's, 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 it's profile. Burr Hunt. Uh, <laughs> Hello, darling. Let me but, tell you about myself. But, 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 I'm a low tax but, conservative. But actually. But actually it, on a serious note, when you are talking about a deposit for a house of £150,000 and maybe a mortgage of half a million pounds, now remember that's four times, so you and your partner have to earn, what is it, 125000 between the two of you. Now, I live in Windsor and we've all talked about that being an amazing place. You know, there is genuine poverty. I don't think it's that amazing. There is, there is, there is, a ge- there is genuine Castle poverty. Castle hasn't even got a there gift is, shop. There is, <laughs> there is genuine poverty in towns like that from people who have a combined income of 60 or 70,000 a year. That is crazy. Yeah, I think what we're trying to say is, Mark, can you have us on the show a bit more often? I think so. <laughs> I mean, how do, we, how do we fix this, Josh? I think, uh, I think we should do what they do in Sweden and other countries where they give, they literally give money to have baby, babies. They support them for their first two, three years so that people can not just have a baby, no, but, but also be there 
be there with those children in those very pivotal first years. That's the greatest advantage of being a comic is that I and my wife, we have had to, we have been there, all five children, we've been there all the way up to school, being an integral day to day part of that. But if you, you build, are having a joke because if they are getting paid to have children, that's exactly but, what But like you said, we need to have children because yeah, we, we have to pay for you when we get older. Parents. But if you build, but who's the wrong parents? Uneducated. Who's the right parents? But hang on, but, but, and stupid. But hang on, but, but, oh, wow. but hang on. <laughs> if you build, can I, can I just make this point? Right. If you build 120,000 homes a year and bring in a net migration of 350,000 people a year, you will have a housing crisis. The reality is, I don't disagree with your point about subsidising families. I've got no problem with that whatsoever. Oh, I but, do. But, but, the, but the reality is, it's going to make absolutely no difference. It's almost like a game of musical chairs. At the end of the day, there's 10 kids and only eight seats. No so, so build houses. Exactly. I completely Okay, agree there with we that. go. Build houses and then oh, um, oh, stop immigration as well. And ban, oh, ban no, condoms. I completely disagree with the... <laughs> well, what do you oh, think? It's like folks? the Irish Republic. <laughs>